What's up, people? We back at it again with a new channel. And in this new channel, we're going to start a new segment. It's called Thai Culture. And uh, basically, we're going to be talking about what we love to talk about on this channel, man. What y'all come to see. New way shoes, replica shoes, retail shoes. We're going to get right into it. Get into the, um, the overall thought process of what it is that this shoe represents. So what I'm going to do, just so I'm not talking too long, is set my nice timer here. And y'all are definitely see me set this up while I get ready to talk about a good nine minutes let's get started now you guys might be wondering what a UA is well a UA basically is because I that you know I did some research on it you know I did a whole report as y'all can see um, extra pairs that are left over with the same type of materials made by the same workers and produced at the same factories. Remember people, Nike, Adidas, Pumas, anybody that who's anybody does not make shoes for the most part over here in America. It just, it's better business sense for them to go overseas because it's cheaper labor overall. So when you have that type of, you know, tax cut and business break and things of that nature, they're not about to go ahead and try to spend extra money because we want to make our money, you know what I'm saying? We're not trying to just make the shoes for about two cents on a dollar um, per hour, you know what I'm saying? We want to get paid or $12 an hour or 14, 15 an hour to, you know, be the cobblers that we can, you know, craft ourselves to be. And cobblers are just shoemakers or, you know, shoe, you know, people who actually repair shoes as well. Um, <clears throat> But they ain't trying to mess with that. They ain't trying to pay us our money. So they go overseas where the, the labor is cheap and quick. And that's that. Um, so basically, that's what unauthorized authentics is without having to go too deep into it. Because, again, I had to I had did a whole research, a damn thesis statement. Y'all want to hear the thesis statement? Basically, what I said is although some of these advantages to buying a retail pair of popular sneakers such as Nike, Joy Brand Yeezys, etc., um, there are some advantages is what I said, but the disadvantages is you're going to stay broke unless you have an adequate or high paying job, which is why I, as well as others recommend rep or UA shoes so much. There's really not much for me to have to explain case in point. So I was talking with my boss. I ain't going to mention his name because we may, you know, protect the innocent as we did in the last channel. And this man was really listening to me, y'all. Before when I was talking to him about it, the one ear, not the other. But now that I come with motivational thought process, now that I've actually done the research, my boss was listening to me. He basically was seeing the truth. The truth of the matter is, <clears throat> which he actually can relate, is that here we are so worried about the next man and so worried about what we should do to make sure that we stay, you know, you know, legal and stay moral and things of that nature. Um, but at the end of the day, you got to do what's best for you. That's all I'm saying about that. I'm not telling you, Ty's not telling you to go out there and do anything that's illegal or immoral or anything of that nature. The fact of the matter is I'm not a guy. I'm not going to judge you, nor do I have the patience to do so. What I am going to tell you to do, though, is do what's going to be best for you and your family. Take that as you will. Example, I talked to a young man on IG yesterday. He told me that he, you know, does things that I'm not never gonna do, which is buy UA pairs, sell them, and keep it the fuck moving. Now, the thing about it is, why am I, why am I not gonna do that? Because I got too much to lose, you know what I'm saying? I just don't believe in doing that. I don't condone the selling or reselling of UA pair of shoes because they are UAs. They are unauthorized authentics until Nike hit some of that that seal of approval, which is never gonna happen. It's illegal to sell here in America. It is what it is. I didn't make the laws, you know what I'm saying? I'm just the messenger at the end of the day. We were talking about di different things about what we can do as far as UA pairs and uh, replica pairs and what's gonna be the best option, yeah, I'm at six minutes, to go ahead and move forward to be able to do the best we can to uh, live a prosperous life. <sighs> I mean, at the end of the day, y'all got to come to the decision of what UAs really are and what they represent for you. If they mean a prosperous life, doing that, sh that other stuff, you know, that I don't condone, yo, come to terms with it now. Know who you are. Look at yourself in the mirror and be like, yo, I'll be hitting people over the head on some fake stuff. 
Please believe, man, that when they call the cops on you, just don't come to me. Don't come to anybody else. Just look at yourself and be like, yo, I know what I was doing. I got to own that shit. Simple as that. Now, we got that out the way, past all the negativity. The good news is this. You guys can rock the same shoes I got on right now, okay? And I got my uh, Code JPs on, you know what I'm saying? Um, for an affordable price. It, it doesn't make sense to try to beat yourself up over the head for these sneaker apps and things of that nature. Let's go into what was said on IG at one point, just a few days ago. Down to the Soul or uh, Boatman. <clears throat> Shout out to you, brother. Smart Educated. Educated. What the fuck is an Educated? Smart Educated Man is what I was going to say. This dude, you know, comes to me with the perspective that whatever you choose to do with your overall time, um, when spending that uh, money with your uh, shoes, is your choice. But at the end of the day, you got to be cool with that. If you want to spend the money and put the value on that shoe, knowing that this value is only about $35 for them to make overseas, that's on you. It's just like looking at an artwork. You know what I'm saying? You see a painting on the wall, and you're like, this is beautiful. I can't believe that something like this was created by a human. You know what I'm saying? Because God passed his idea down to that human, and through the fingertips, the image became. So because of that, you want to own it. And that artwork can go from anywhere between $100 to 100000 how do you value a piece of work? So that's what it comes down to, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is my thought on the whole UA rep pair process. Um, it wouldn't exist if people like us didn't uh, exist. If we were that concerned about, uh-oh, these are not retail shoes, they wouldn't have a leg to stand on and they being the Chinese suppliers and the Chinese makers over there. But because people are tired, tired, tired of catching L's, the UA replica nation is right there ready to, to, to grab you, to, to hold you, to hug you and be like, yo, it's okay, fam. You don't have to worry about it. I got you. You want what for $150? Sure, let me go ahead and get that for you. Here you go. I mean, it's really, <laughs> it's that simple. I'm pretty much nonchalant about it because for the most part, I'm not the only one talking about this. You got Troll Mageddon who is hard as, as uh, he, he goes at you directly. He goes straight for your jugular. He does not like resellers, period. Don't come to him with it because he's not going to want to hear you. If anything, you ain't even going to be heard from again. You'll just be blocked and he's going to keep it moving. Um, the rest of us are just showing you what's out there. Colo Culture, Triple KTK, Minor Kicks, myself. We're all just out there doing the best we can. Save money, he's putting in that work. Um, you know what I'm saying? Nealman, he's putting in that work. These are people who are taking time out their day to just go ahead and show you the options. That's it. So you can choose to take the option or not. For me, I enjoy sneakers too much. And had I known about UAs years ago, I would have been on a UA train. But I ain't know about it. I ain't had my ticket yet. You know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't know thyself yet. <laughs> it was the right time and the right place for me to get to use or get used to be able to review these shoes and, and understand that, hey, you know, this is something that is available for purchase at any time, regardless if I'm reviewing them or not. Um, so yeah, that's about it almost. I mean, we're almost at a minute. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, shut this down because we don't want the alarm going off stopping timer now so we're almost at 10 minutes folks my summary is this be happy with what you purchase and who you are all right i can't tell you what to do because i'm not your father i'm not even your uncle i'm your brother from another mother that's as far as it goes people whether you lady or fella that's truth and I'm here for you. That's why I'm doing this right now. To show y'all the truth on certain matters and just to show you the light on what we need to do as people to save money. Simple as that. But like I said, I don't condone the selling of retail, excuse me, I don't condone the selling of UA or, or replica shoes because why well, get yourself in a position you'll get hemmed up. But yo, you grown. And being grown comes with the responsibility to understand that yo, 
whatever I've done is on me. It don't got nothing to do with anybody else. This has been Ty, and this is the first episode of Ty's Culture. Um, I know I kind of look nonchalant right now, but I'm just tired of the nonsense, man. We just got to come to terms with it. We're just trying to save money, and that's it. You shouldn't feel bad about it. Okay? And if you want to do what you want to do to make that extra money, that's on you, bro. That's on you, ma'am. You don't got nothing to do with us. The rest of us are just trying to put shoes on feet, rock the heck out of them until they, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> until they fall apart. And that's as far as it goes. Because once they fall apart, you just move on to the next pair of shoes. Hit me up. Any comments y'all got, please let me know. You know what my DM is. If you don't, it's right above my head. And um, I'm going to talk with y'all. Peace.